Hey, it's Brendan from acetennisonline.com. Today, I am going to help you understand doubles. So a lot of times when I, when I start working with people on their doubles, it's I always try to make them understand what their role is on the tennis court. Because a lot of times it's just, well, I'm at the baseline, I'm at the net, um, but they don't think about their roles. So let's take, we'll take our quick, simple setup here. So we just have a, we have a doubles player. So the red team is the serving team right now. The white team is the returning team. And so a simple way of looking at this is the baseliners, they're responsible for getting that, keeping that ball going, right? So if we're here, if we're, so our responsibility as the baseliner is to try and keep that ball in play and keep that point going. As the net player, our goal is to finish the point. So if we get a chance to finish it, that's your duty. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't finish the point at the baseline, but just a simple way of thinking about it is you want to prolong the point. Okay, so 80% of the time, maybe even 90% of the time, you're going to be right if your instinct is let me keep the point going. Okay, now obviously let's say if you have a, if you have a short ball and you have, a, you have a big target open down the line, you're able to be aggressive and you, and you think you're going to win the point with that shot, you know, obviously those are exceptions and I can think of a dozen other, other exceptions to that, but if you want to be right a majority of the time, Baseliner prolongs the point and tries to set up their net player, okay? So, keep the point going, look to end it. Now, if we're up here, if we're at the net, I do want to look for a few different things. So, I want to look at how my partner is hitting that shot. So, let's say if my partner hits a nice deep shot and it's pushing my opponents back, they are going to likely hit that ball a little bit higher. And if they leave that ball short, I'm going to be all over that. So, I'm really trying to look for my opponent uh, being in trouble. So any chance that I can get to finish the point, I want to take it. Okay, so finish the point if you're at the net, keep it going at the baseline. Now that's the really simple concept of doubles right now. Now, can we get a little bit more specific? Absolutely. Okay, so let's talk server. Now the role of the server is to hold serve. The role of the server's partner is to be a presence at the net. So which means I always see this at the recreational level. I always see people who are half in the alley or they're staying really close to the alley because they think my sole job is to protect the alley. Now what that really does is, let's say if your reach is, from, is to here, from here to here roughly. So if that's your reach right now, that means your partner is covering 75% of the court and that is not really good, right? So we're leaving our partner to cover so much court. Okay. Now, let me ease your mind a little bit. So let me tell you why you don't need to stay in the doubles alley or close to it. Because most of the shots are coming from a cross court angle and redirecting a shot, so think about this this way. So that's your racket face and the ball's coming from an angle so it wants to bounce off at the same angle. So which means it's going to be harder, actually let me grab a racket quickly. So this is one of my students rackets. Uh, strings are broken, I still need to string it. Okay, but so anytime, let's say if that ball is coming from a cross court angle, it's gonna to wanna to bounce off to the side basically. Okay, which means your, your opponent actually has to get around that ball a little bit more to control it. Otherwise, they're more likely going to miss it wide. Okay, so because it is harder to control, and guess what, even the pros, it's not super easy for the pros to simply redirect that. So, unless, unless they pass you three times in a row, and I'm not talking three times in five games, unless they hit that shot three times in a row to pass you, you're fine. It's okay for, the, for them to hit one or two shots past you occasionally. That's perfectly fine. What you should be more concerned with is protecting the middle. Being a presence at the net and being a presence in the middle actually does a whole lot more against your opponent than you might think. Okay, so number one, if you're a little further over, it makes this shot more tempting. And as we said, it's harder to redirect, right? So remember, so let's say this is your opponent's racket and when that ball is coming, it's harder to control. So which means it's, har it's actually harder to hit that shot and redirect. Plus, the net is higher and the court is shorter, so it becomes a much tougher target. And, so let me give you a little bit math here. Okay, 
So, doubles court corner to corner is, can you guess? 86.5 feet, right? So down the line is actually 78 feet. So we have eight and a half more feet of court to hit into. So the court is eight and a half feet longer. If you think about that, that means, I mean, if most of you are an average of five and a half, six feet tall, that means that's quite a bit, right? So which means you could actually lie down and then another couple of feet, right? So that's a huge difference, okay? So don't worry about the line as much, but now look what you do, okay? So by being a presence in the middle and, and making it harder for your opponent to go down the middle because you're gonna be all over that, it forces them to either go for this lower percentage shot or they're going to try to aim further out here. So by forcing them to aim for a smaller target, you're taking the easiest target away from them, right? The easiest place for us to hit is right down the center. If we aim into the middle of the court, we're not gonna miss, right? So if we aim here, it's hard to miss wide. You could miss in the net or you could miss long, but you're not gonna miss to the side. Now, but if you're shrinking the cord, now you're forcing them to go for a smaller target. So by being a presence, you're gonna force your opponent into more mistakes. Really be good at covering the middle. Okay, holding serve, good first serve percentage, variety. Being a presence at the net to force them to, do, to make more mistakes. Okay, so those are the two roles of the serving team. Now the returning team, the returner really has the main priority to actually do what? To make the return. So a simple way of thinking about this is if you can't start a point, you can't win a point. If you can't start it, you can't win it. Okay, so priority here is making the return. How about this? Now this is the most difficult position to play in doubles. We call that the hot seat, or I mean there are a bunch of other names we can think of, but that's typically what we call it. We call it the hot seat. Right, and you know there are a few things that you that you want to do. Um, I always I, I always see a coach saying your your only job is to call a line. No, that's not it's not your only job. Um, you can it definitely is easier for you to call the line because you can see it, it from this angle. So you're looking at it. I mean you you're e easily able to tell whether that ball is in or out. Your partner on the other hand can't really uh, estimate the depth as well. So it's harder for your partner to to call the serve plus they should be focusing on the return so you should really help your partner by calling the line but the main job of this person is to protect the middle so if you have a strong server here you and you're and the returner is struggling i mean that's gonna that's gonna put a lot of pressure on this position because the net player should be all over that so you're really looking to defend the middle okay and a very similar concept to being a presence here is also trying to be a presence here, okay? So now as a net player, as I said, we want to finish the point, so we're looking to finish the point, and we typically try to do that by going at the feet or down the middle. So we're trying to go at the feet of the net player here, okay? Now, but let's say if we have a really good player defending that middle, it might force this player to actually try to pick harder targets, so it might try to make them hit that angle out wide or the angle out here, both of which are harder than going down the middle. So again, your goal is to be defending the middle, but also be a presence. So as we learned in doubles, if we're at the net, our biggest thing is just be a presence at the net and try to force more mistakes from our opponent. Okay, so that should just be a simple, like a simple video for you to actually learn the roles in doubles a little bit better and have a better understanding of what you should be doing to win more matches and doubles. Before I forget, let me, uh, let me sum it up quickly. Um, so we said, keep the point going at the baseline, finish it at the net, priority is holding serve, be a presence at the net, make the return, defend the middle, and call lines. We are good with that, aren't we? Perfect. All right. Now, if you like this video, be sure to share it with a friend or a teammate because that's a great way to support my channel. Um, enable that notification bell, hit that like button. If you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section below.